Asking for a lifeline, breweries hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic and shutdowns are pleading with Tallahassee to let them reopen. They say they are not bars and the next two weeks could spell ruin for a lot of them. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live outside one of those breweries tonight. Eric. Yeah, we are uh, live outside Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company tonight, Ginger, where this place actually got a new license today that allows them to serve food and alcohol on premise, and that means that they're going to be able to stay open. But we found out many more breweries cannot afford to do the same thing. It's starting to get scary now. Forced to depend on to-go service only, yeah. Robert McKee says revenue at his Ellipsis Brewery in Orlando is down 90%. It's where the fun is. He says he fears his dream business of two and a half years could be nearing an end. If things don't change, then we, we could be looking at 30 days. That scare you? Oh yeah, it's terrifying. You know, we, we have our entire life savings wrapped up in this. So many of the breweries can't keep up with that. 13 miles away, Glenn Clausen runs Ivanhoe Park Brewery. He also sits on the board of the Florida Brewers Guild. Today, the Guild issued this open letter to Governor Ron DeSantis and the Department of Business and Professional Regulation. It says their business is likely to permanently lose 100 breweries statewide if the current shutdown continues for two more weeks. They say that could mean 3,000 more people out of work. We're hoping that just kind of has the governor's office aware of how many jobs we're creating and how much economy we're bringing. They're asking that breweries be allowed to be reopened because they say their business model is different than bars. Take action against individuals who choose to not abide by the rule, not an entire industry. We contacted the governor's office and the DBPR for a comment, and we're still waiting to hear back from them. In the meantime, the Guild says that they're going to continue to post this letter on their social media channels, and they're also going to continue to send it to Tallahassee until they get results. We're live in Orlando tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Ginger, back to you. Tough spot. Eric, thank you.